In this image, the DNA from a bacterium has been gently released from the cell. Most of the DNA is from the bacterial chromosome, but small circular DNA molecules called plasmids also exist. For many plasmids, replication is not tied to chromosomal replication. Many plasmids replicate autonomously by a method called rolling circle replication. In rolling circle replication, a replication initiator protein called REP-A binds to a section of the double-stranded DNA called the origin of replication, or ORI. REP-A is encoded by a plasmid gene. REP-A nicks one strand of the DNA and holds on to the five prime end of the strand. The three prime end, with its free hydroxyl group, serves as a primer for a host DNA polymerase to begin to replicate the intact complementary strand. The REP-A initiator protein recruits a helicase that unwinds the DNA. As the DNA unwinds, it becomes coated by single-strand DNA binding proteins. As replication proceeds, the nicked strand, which continues to be covered with single-strand DNA binding proteins, progressively peels off until replication of the intact strand is complete. The two ends of the nicked single strand are rejoined by the REP-A protein and released. DNA ligase seals the nick in the double-stranded molecule. The single-stranded DNA can now be replicated. A region of the DNA becomes looped, allowing RNA polymerase access to the DNA to form a primer. Host DNA polymerases use the primer as a starting point for the synthesis of DNA. Finally, DNA ligase seals the remaining NIC, resulting in a double-stranded plasmid. Each of these plasmids can undergo replication again by the same method.